Friday. Today's video is a first impressions video. So I have four hair products and one face mask that I'm gonna share with you today. I've used these all maybe four, maybe like three or four times. And I have like some thoughts on all of them. And these are just my first impressions though. In like six or eight weeks, I'll follow back up and give like a fuller review if I've continued using them, if they're empty, if I rebuy them, all that. First product I'm gonna talk about is the Low Beauty Green Tea Hydrating Facial Mask. This product is actually recently launched by my friend Reagan, and I bought a few of them. She gifted me a few of them, but before she gifted me some, I actually bought some because I wanted to give an unbiased review, and I'm really, really happy with the product. I'm not the biggest sheet mask facial facial sheet mask person and I'm really sensitive. I have really sensitive skin and one of the more popular ones in Clean Beauty, the Orgade one, it just breaks me out. I get too sensitive to it. So I don't really wear sheet masks all that often, but I really, really like this product. I've used it twice. I've used two of them because they're not reusable. Use it twice. I really like it. It's really calming and hydrating and cooling and soothing on the skin. So I'm definitely gonna bring a few of them to Mexico for my wedding. Um, because it just has that cooling, hydrating factor to it. So I really love that about it. But aside from liking the product, I like the fact that it is low waste. So she has directions on how to mask and how to recycle on the back of it. So before you put the gel mask on, you pour out any excess liquid in it, in the package, you put that on your face first, then you put the gel mask on. I like to leave masks on for at least 30 minutes. This says 15 to 20, do it for 30. Once you're done using the mask, you put the hydrogel, the mask part that you had on your face in boiling water and it completely dissolves. Once that's done, you just pour it down the drain, whatever. Then you dry the inside of this package with like a paper towel and you put back in the fabric and the little piece of plastic that comes with the mask in here, as long as it's all dried up. Then you put this in this reusable prepaid envelope seal it up, send it back, and it gets recycled with TerraCycle. Love it. Low toxic, beauty, low waste beauty. We love to see it. It's a really great product. It's really fun. It's fun to support a small woman owned business. And if you have sensitive skin like I do, I've had zero reaction to this at all. I really like this product. So my first impression is I really like it. I would definitely buy it again. I have a few more in my closet and I feel really good about it. Second product is this Garrett, hold on, I don't know the name of it. Garrett Markinson Reverie Milk. This is a leave-in conditioner product and I really like this stuff. For the bottle, this 100 milliliter bottle is $42. It's pretty big, it's glass. And I actually got it in a Beauty Heroes box. So I would have never come across this product or I haven't actually even heard of this product, um, but I got it in a Beauty Heroes box when I was doing that subscription and I had it in my closet for a while, and then I was like, you know what, let me try this product, and I really, really like it. I especially like it when I'm wearing my hair curly. So I'm gonna show you the consistency of it. It's not super runny, like it's really kind of a thick cream. Even though it's thick, it, it still rubs in nicely. You can see that it's still pretty lightweight. It's obviously lighter than like a conditioner that you rinse out in the shower. Still gonna recommend that if you have fine hair, this is gonna, I think, be too heavy for you. Even if you use just one or two um, pumps of it, I just think it's gonna be too heavy. I really, really like this product for out of the shower. And then I also like it for day two after I rinse my hair and I have some products still left in my hair I don't, not when I'm shampooing it, like day two or three when I just rinse and reactivate the products I already have in my hair, one or even half a squirt of this is all I need to refresh and add hydration and add definition to my curls. I just think my curls look so nice with this product. It smells really good and my hair still feels really touchable with it. So yes, love this product so far. For $42, it's definitely a little bit of a higher price point, but if you're used to buying Orbe or Kerastase in the non-clean beauty world, then this is whatever. This is like those, this kind of feels like a, a Kerastase Thermique. That would be my like non, uh, my more traditional beauty comparison. So yes, I would buy it again, I think. So far I really like it, but I like it more for when I wear my hair curly because even though I have medium, I think I have medium to fine hair, and when I wear my hair blown out, I think this would be too heavy for me to be able to recycle my blowout for multiple days. 
Um, but for curly or for medium to thick hair so far, I'm into it. Which I have to say, just to kind of do a quick review about the Beauty's Hero, Beauty Heroes box. I have to say of the six months that I've been getting it, I've liked, I've really liked one of them, which is this product. And I kind of liked two of them and I didn't like the other three. So I actually canceled the sub subscription recently. It's a really good way to learn about and try new products, but I find that I don't love the products enough and it's too much of a gamble every month of what, what I'm getting. So I put a pause on it for now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna start it up again, but I felt like I was getting, I was having too much back stock because they were sending me products and then I was buying products that I wanted to try. And so it was just like, I had too much unopened product. And I wasn't really gravitating towards the stuff that they sent me because I was like, I don't even know what this is. And on the other side of the, the coin, like this is one that I never heard of that they sent me that I love. So I think it's worth trying if you're super new to clean beauty and you wanna try some new things and get some bang for your buck. For me, I have a bit of a back stock and I have kind of a good reference point of what I wanna try and what I wanna use that I don't think it's worth it for me anymore right now. Okay, so I have two products from Love Song Beauty. They actually sent me these products and I'm really pleasantly surprised by them. I'm like, this company wanted to send me two products when I have a, just starting out, I have a pretty small like audience right now. Like, are they even gonna be good? Like, I don't know why I was just like not super, I was like, we'll just see. And I honestly was really pleasantly surprised. I almost really kind of felt bad about my attitude about it. I was really pleasantly surprised by both products. So the weightless leave-in conditioner is a really good alternative to this one because it's way lighter weight. I really like this if you have more on the fine side hair, straight hair, or if, even if you have curly hair, but it's medium to fine and you wear it blown out a lot because you want to recycle it, this is going to be your product. I'll show you. It's a little bit lighter weight, a more gel-like consistency. It's interesting because it's kind of jelly, but it works It works really well. It doesn't weigh your hair down at all. I'm just like layering so much product in my hair right now, which is already on like day three, and I'm like just layering product after product in it. But this is a really lightweight product. I really like it. I like this more for when I wear my hair blown out. Like I said, I was using this before I opened this one up, and it is good for curls too. Um, this is just gonna be heavier weight and this is just gonna be lighter weight. They also sent me their invisible dry shampoo gel, which was I was really curious about, but once I used it, it looks almost identical. It's a little bit thicker. I'm gonna put it in my hair. I'm gonna need a scalp treatment after this with all this product. My hair looks so good though. I really like this product. It's a really nice lightweight dry shampoo and it's non-aerosol. You know what it kind of reminds me of is the Way foam dry shampoo. I don't know if you've ever used that product. It's more traditional beauty. Um, they sell it at Sephora. I used to love their foam dry shampoo because it was really lightweight. I used to wear my hair blown out a lot. And even though it looks big, again, it's medium to fine. I don't have a ton of it. If I kind of put my hair in like a it's not that thick. So it's just the illusion of really thick. I don't typically use a lot of dry shampoo when I wear my hair curly because as it gets dirtier, I just like put it up and then I put it half up and then I wear it sleek. And then I like wash it and start all over again on day four. Um, but I, when I, when I blew out my hair last week, I did use this on day two and three and I really liked it. So I still need to play around with this a little bit more. Like I'm pretty sold on this one, but this I still need more time with. But so far I'm, into it. The next product is the Inner Sense I Create Lift Volumizing Foam. Now, I got this product like six months ago and I used it once and I didn't like it, but I didn't give it a lot of time to play around with it with like layering it and how, like like layering it with different products to see how I like to use it. So I used it once and I was like, oh, not really sure. I'm gonna go back to my salt spray. Reordered the Inner Sense salt spray, which I've then run out again. And I was like, no, before I order that, I'm trying this product. And I have to say, it's grown on me quite a bit. It is a foam that has like a medium size hold to it. Yeah, I see like medium hold to it. There's a nice thickness to it. Um, it kind of reminds me of like old school Kerastase um, Boucladar. That uh, foam, if you are familiar with Kerastase, it's like a, a, a thicker foam, but it's not super heavy. So I like it, I think. 
I'm still figuring it out. So my only hesitation with this product is that when I put it on my hair as a first product after I get out of the shower, when I'm wearing my hair curly, is it makes my hair feel too crunchy. Like it has a good amount of hold to it and it made my hair feel too crunchy. But when I've used it as a second layer after this or the Love Song one, I've really liked it because having that creamy product kind of softened the hold on this one. So I still got the benefits of having that hold and definition without the crunch. So this product I do like, but it's just taken a little bit of playing around with to figure out how I like it for me. Um, like my best friend has like textured hair, like she's mixed and she's pretty curly and thick. Like she would have like loved this product right away. She wouldn't need to like play around with it too much because she has the hair and the curl to hold it without too much manipulation. Whereas for me, I'm curly, but I'm medium to fine and I get weighed down really easily. So it's just about cocktailing the products a little differently for me and my hair type. I do not like it on my hair when I use it as a volumizing mousse to blow it out. Um, it's just too heavy for me. Six ounces is $28, so pretty pretty like good pricing, probably more similar to like a Kevin Murphy pricing or a Davinus pricing, um, yeah. Okay guys, that's the first impressions for these products. They got the hair products and you got the face mask. So far, I'm really impressed with all of it. You know, Clean Beauty in regards to hair products has come so far. You know, as a former hairstylist, I've used everything. L'Oreal, Orbe, Kerastase, Davinus, Evo, Kevin Murphy, you name it, I've used it. And I honestly think like five years ago, it was hard to find really effective, good, clean beauty hair products. And these brands are really giving more traditional products a run for their money. I think it's really shaking up and disrupting the industry. They're really effective. They're cleaner. They have less fragrance. They have less than synthetic progress. Uh, products. They're obviously not perfect. So there's going to be some cleaner brands that aren't absolutely pure, but it's not about having pure, perfect product. It's about having better products, lowering the toxic burden with while also getting and using products that are effective. And these ones fit the bill. These brands fit the bill for that for me. So, and then I, this is just a great face mask. So this, this one I will definitely be rebuying. The hair ones I have, I still have to figure out in six weeks, six to eight weeks, what is gonna be worth, I'll probably finish them all, but what's gonna be worth rebuying? We'll see. If you have any suggestions on products you want me to try or any product, any thoughts on the products that I have here today, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.